what's up family it's your girl Jim Ether and you are back with another episode of the report tarot and tools not bad brain fart real quick alright y'all we're gonna get into it real quickly the divine masculine check out the energy of the divine masculine I did not pull out notes before I started this uh, we may have to freestyle this shit Let's see. Let's see it over here. Yeah, no notes. So let's just pull the energy. Let's just pull the overall energy. Yeah, let's just pull the overall energy. Let's see what's going on. I'll pull randomly. Sorry, guys. Even though we did the questions a couple times in a row. So it might be nice. Maybe we're meant to do a free pool. Okay, so Divine Masculine wants to offer, wants to come in and make a love offer. But you guys who watch me know I always call this my emotionally blocked card because this water is basically stopping him. You see, he's not on the other side of the water, but... He's handing out this cup, like, just step over the water. Why can't you step over? There must be something that keeps him from stepping over the water. Now, the water represents emotions. So that's why that is my emotionally blocked card. So until Divine Masculine can get over their emotional blocks, emotional hang-ups, they won't be able to actually come forward and really give you that cup, that cup of love. Alright, let's see what else is going on. Too many cards. Don't give me a mountain. What else is going on with Divine Master? Okay, they are in a state of meditation. Really trying to go through divine and different avenues than what they would usually take to get their answers. To try to seek some type of a solace, solitude, peace from within. I also feel like this is them trying to clear out some of these blockages. Going through the divine to assist them in clearing out these blockages. These emotional blockages. What else is in the energy of the divine master? Okay, we got the chariot car. We got the chariot car. Chariot car came out. So the divine masculine is, I'm feeling like in this order, because it's the way the cards came out. Either, because I do do past, present, future. So in the past, they were working on their uh, emotional blockages to my left, to your right, probably. In the past, Emotional blockages were being worked on. The first card pulled in the present. They're, uh, well, in the past, I'm sorry, in the past, emotionally blocked. Wanting to make this offer of love, but having this emotional blockage. Not being able to get to the other side to make the emotional offer. In the present, actually working through these blockages, beginning to, uh, tap into their spiritual and intuition spirituality and intuition more even uh, balancing out their feminine and masculinity as far as energies go and in the future this is where we're headed with them actually making their moves so let's see where this chariot rides is going I think we know but let's see let's clarify the chariot too many Yeah, I don't want four cars or five. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, fuck no. Give me two to three cars for the chariot, please. Put something on the chariot, please. Two to three cars on the chariot, please. Thank you.
too many cars, but I'll show y'all what they are. The sun came out, so it's looking like they're definitely wanting to move towards abundance, happiness. And they want to get out of this stuck energy. They could still be feeling like this, but I'm not keeping these cards right now. But I know, uh, I'm looking at it because the Ace of Swords came out first, which is down, actually. Where they may be trying to cut themselves out of feeling like this. Imprisoned. I feel like uh, mentally imprisoned more than anything with the swords representing thoughts. But let's see. That was a little bit too many. We'll take this because it's wanted to come. Ta. Like I said, we'll take this because it's wanted to come out. Look, the sun. The fucking sun, y'all. Can't make that shit up. You feel me? You figure deal me? That's what we used to say back in high school. You figure deal me? <laughs> so... The uh, sun card came out, and it's his second appearance because it already flew out the first time or dropped out, whatever you want to say. So, yeah, the chariot, to clarify the chariot, we got the ace of swords, which is talking about cutting out something. Or definitely, if it's not cutting out something, they're definitely just wanting a new beginning. This is about a new beginning, even speaking truths, because the sword also represents not only thoughts, but uh, communication. So, also, like, they're the air sign. So, Aquarius, Gemini, and, uh, fuck, Libra. So, basically, they are probably communicating about wanting to move on because they want their ultimate happiness. They're going after the ultimate happiness. This could be in the future of them communicating this to you. Let's get one more card for this chariot. Y'all want me to have one more? Let me know. Yep, so they're going to be coming single. This could be them moving in towards you. Because you are single and abundant, I believe. Divine Feminine, someone who is getting messages from Divine, symbolized by this bird. Or this could be them moving out of a situation to become single. But as of right now, I'm not really seeing any other person in the mix. So I feel like this is them coming towards you. Clarify the nine of coins, please. Who's this nine of coins? Who is the nine of coins? Give me some cards to tell me who this is, please. Give me one card to tell me who this is. The best card, baby. was on the side. This is the Nine of Swords. It came, it was on the side in the deck, so I picked it up. This is the Nine of Swords. We're asking for the best card to tell me who this is. So we got Temperance. Give me some other cards. So whoever this Nine of Pentacles is, this is someone who's trying to find balance. This could be you, Divine Feminine. Someone who's really trying to regain their balance after feeling this loss. Feeling like, uh, you know, this is someone who's in grief about something that did not work out, but not realizing that these two cups are standing still. So this could be you, Divine Feminine, because you're not aware of this uh, Divine Masculine's return, or planned return, I should say. Because this is all future energy at this point. So, now let's see what is Divine Masculine's next move. No, what does Divine, what's Divine Masculine uh, want to tell you?
What does Divine Masculine want to tell you? I shuffled all of these off camera, but why not? You know? I'm going to have too many of these. Let's see. Give me some more of them. What does Divine Masculine want to tell you? Backstabbers came out. By the OJs, baby. They smiling in your face. All the time they want to take your place. Them backstabbers. Backstabbers. The Earth card. So they could be coming in to give you... The, the Earth card is just like uh, the pinnacles. You know what I mean? All about stability. You feel me? So what does Divine Masculine want to tell Divine Feminine? What does Divine Masculine want to tell Divine Feminine? Oh, there's a fly in here. Gotta get rid of that. Barack Obama, Michelle Obama. So, y'all already know when I pull those cards, I always feel like that's a. Uh, them wanting to tell you about this power couple. And for some of them, maybe they've been doing research on power couples, on the Obamas, just to align them on what type of relationship they want. Maybe they've been researching power couples or uh, watching channels with, uh, like, the example of, of a good, you know, of a good healthy relationship, shit like that. So even if they're not watching Michelle Obama or and, uh, Barack, they're watching people of that type of stature when it comes to relationships. Uh, divorce split. So they want to tell you about a divorce or a split. They want to tell you to trust and love. They really want you to trust and love. What else does Divine Masculine want to tell Divine Feminine? They want to tell you that they're so close to reaching out to you. What else does Divine Masculine want to tell Divine Feminine? I'm done playing the victim. So for a lot of you guys, this Divine Masculine was, uh, like I said, they were in that stuck energy. Even with this, this could still be the Divine Masculine's energy, especially with the fact that you guys do mirror each other so fucking much. This could still be them basically playing the victim. Knowing damn well there's two cups, but still being salty about something. Acting as if there's not two cups. in the closet so when this comes out guys I have to state the obvious especially with me being gay so for some of you guys your divine masculine is either in the closet or telling you about them being in the closet or wanting to come out of the closet I'm not sure if I have an out of the closet card so they could just be telling you for some of you guys you're in the same sex uh, twin flame partnership even though you guys aren't in a union yet but you guys are same sex 
and they're going to tell you about why they were in the closet, why they chose to continue to be in the closet. Uh, follow your dreams. So they do want you to follow your dreams, and for most divine feminines, they want you to continue to follow your dreams. What else? Anything else? Any other messages? Do you have anything else from the Divine Master? Black magic, karmic. So they want to tell you about some form of black magic that they feel the karma's been doing on them or was doing on them in the past. They want to tell you that their mom is skeptical of the connection. They want to tell you that they loved and they lost. This is in regards with the karmic, I believe. And they want to tell you that they can't believe how real this love is. How real our love is. So they're in disbelief about it. So how does the uh, Divine Feminine see the... Or how does Divine Masculine see the Divine Feminine? Right now. How do they feel about them right now? So right now, they see you as a celebration. Three of Cups. Yeah, they see you as being... This is... The way this is even coming out, how I'm going to lay this, is them... Emperor, Divine Masculine, looking over at this. He wants to come in to have this celebration with you. Either that or they're evaluating the third party situation that has happened. So let's see. No, nope, clarify the three clarify the three of cups. Why is that there? For how the Divine Masculine feels about Divine Feminine. How the Divine Masculine feels about the Divine Feminine. Yeah, this card came out in reverse, so I'm going to keep it that way. But this is actually the hard work card, the eight of coins. So I feel like there was a third party situation. This is not you. This is not the Empress. So this is someone else. I feel like this third party situation involved this dame, this woman, this feminine energy. And basically, they're evaluating... They're looking at not doing or not putting in any work, hard work, into that situation. Uh, they could also be actually really, this is looking at something, this is spying, so like really going over that situation. <clears throat> okay, so now what's, what else is going on with that? What else are they going over with the karmic? What, how do they feel about the karma? How do they feel about the karma? That was a three. It didn't pop out though. This fell out. This fell out in reverse. But either way, I don't think it really matters. Huh. That matters. But this coming out into the reverse, how do you feel about the karmic? If you can see, I don't know, this camera's kind of whack right now, but I think it brightens up once I start really doing it. If you can see, okay, first of all, in the upright, there's a lot of time. You know, there's a while before it gets all that sand fills up the bottom. But in the reverse, this is how they feel about the karmic. Like, the, the time's almost stuck. This thing's almost filled the fuck up. So they feel like time is coming to a close. How else do they feel about the karma? 
not up yet, but it's getting there. It's very, very close. Time is ticking, basically. Uh, how else they feel about it? I guess I'm about to start reading reversals, y'all. How else they feel about it? I'm not going to say uh, indefinitely. But I'm seeing I can understand them. I couldn't read them before, so I didn't. Uh, the Five of Cups. This is popping out again. So how they see the karmic, how they feel about the karmic is lost opportunity. Spilt cup, spilt milk, crying over spilt milk. So they are still upset about this. But, they're actually coming out of this, because this is the card that came out in reverse, the Three of Swords, this is that uh, backstabbing, broken heart energy. So, with it being in reverse, they are beginning to heal their broken heart. They're beginning to pull those swords out of their heart. So, what's their move towards Divine Feminine? Whoa, good lord. 20 cards fell out. Okay, so they want to talk. This is the card that I noticed. The judgment card for what their move is. What's their next move? Alright, so the next move. Messages of love. These are love messages they want to send out. Now, they may feel like there could be some blockages in the way because these targets, this target is fucking blocked up, but they do want to hit this target. So I feel like the next move is really figuring out how to hit the target. So this might be something. It's not going to be, I don't feel like, a speedy thing. This could take eight weeks, eight months. For some of you guys uh, who have been on it longer, maybe eight days, but I'm really feeling like eight weeks, eight months to for this to for them to feel like there's no blood.